All right, everybody, so we got all the interior painting done on all the walls and uh, started sanding the countertop or, well, the top here that's going to be painted and all the V-Birth, it's been all painted, sidewalls and where the galley table is, that side and that side as well and really turned out really nice. That there behind the, the steps is done. The galley, um, all this has been done. Getting ready to put all that back together. And inside the head is done as well. And we've got all of that done. So that is perfect. Uh, getting ready to, to we're gonna be sanding this countertop down along with this countertop. All I'm using is a uh, sandpaper, it's a 220. And basically we're just knocking down the, taking the gloss off as you can see. That way that uh, the paint's gonna stick on there really well and uh, should be good to go. And to make it a little bit easier in the bathroom, I only took this piece of trim off here and uh, all of the aluminum trim pieces that goes around. It takes five minutes to take this out. It's really simple. You got four screws that hold this in place. We're gonna take this home. We're gonna do something different with this. And uh, probably gonna be replacing this as well. So five minutes worth of work. It makes it so much easier to do that. So well worth the, the five minutes. And uh, not only getting it sanded down, but getting it painted as well. We'll hit that a couple more times. Be ready to roll. After I've got the uh, heavy of the sawdust off, what I'm using is an acetone cleaner. Um, it's uh, it's a high strength. It will basically take everything off, including gas, uh, oils, um, and any some waxes. So we'll make sure this is all prepped up good. That way we'll, we're going to have some really good adhesion uh, once we put down this product, and uh, it'll be good. It does evaporate very quickly. So you gotta have to be kind of move pretty fast. Basically, it smells just like fingernail polish. If you're married, I guarantee you, you have smelt that before. You see, even though I've cleaned it once, it's still picking up a lot of residue and it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Getting her clean. And we'll do this a couple times to make sure we get a really good surface. Looks pretty good. Ready to roll. I am going to be taping off some of the trim uh, when I do these tops just to make sure that I don't get any overspray or product on this trim pieces. So just take another couple seconds and do that. And then that way you'll be good to go. This product that I'm using, it's that Rust-Oleum hammer. Same thing that I used on the, the kitchen galley, except they do have it in the spray form and it does not put off very much overspray. So I'm gonna give it a shot and then I'll be able to tell you all if it works or not. And we'll see what happens. I'm just going to be using this here, just a little bit extra protection here, just some uh, overspray paper, don't have to be perfect by no means, just to get the majority of the overspray. 
Main thing too is when you're doing some spraying, especially on the interior like this, what I like to do is if you hold your can a little bit tighter or closer to the surface, you won't get as much overspray. But at the same time you're doing that, you gotta make sure that you move your can faster because the closer you are, the more that's gonna build up faster. So just increase your speed of your arm and then that way, you won't get too much in one spot. Just make sure you guys got plenty of ventilation when you do this. And I've got a really nice wind blowing out there today. And <clears throat> I've got all my hatches open, so I've got a nice draft coming through just to kind of help get rid of any fumes. If you guys are enjoying my videos, I really do like your comments down below. Number one. It helps me kind of maybe describe things a little bit better if I don't already. And if you guys got any comments, especially if you are working on any boat projects or seeing something that, that you've done that works really good on your boat, it's always nice to hear somebody else's ideas on what they've done to kind of do some good improvements on their boat. So, please feel free, anytime, to put it down in the comments. really do appreciate it. And for all those that have subscribed, I want to say thank you as well. Um, uh, if you go to my channel, the first videos that I did was actually on a Cummins 4BT conversion in my son's truck. Um, that was my first videos that I've ever did. And I did it just to basically just document it and help somebody else out there that was wanting to do the same thing. Um, it was a really great project for me and my son. That was his uh, first vehicle. He was uh, 15 at the time. And um, it was just a great great experience and I couldn't even figure out how to edit a video so all those editings was done by my daughter Sierra and uh, so she helped me out a lot and if it wasn't for my iPhone y'all wouldn't be seeing anything <laughs> because number one I don't have the patience to sit down and edit um, most of everything that you all see on my videos, um, I don't really do any retakes, very seldom. Um, basically, I just shoot it, look at the video, and most of the time, be honest with you, all I do is make them shorter. Because a lot of the videos that you all are seeing, there might be a couple hours, two, three hours worth of, of video that's actually in there. So I just cut it the best I can. Try to keep them around a 15 or 20 minute view time. And uh, by doing that, it seems like most of you still hang in there. So um, those are the things that I like. If you guys want a, a longer video, let me know and I'll make a longer video. I just I just don't want to bore you. So that's probably my mo my main focus is I don't want to bore you because your time is precious just like mine is. But if you want some more detail, let me know. I appreciate it. So anyhow, um, I don't do a lot of pizzazz stuff in my videos. As you guys can know, sometimes I'll just put in a little, some, a little bit of music or something, a little bit of uh, tunes and, and uh, just kind of make it a little bit more interesting. But uh, it's... Uh, Nothing like a lot of the pros out there, that's for sure. But I am, believe it or not, this one's funny. <laughs> I really, I, I'm, like I said, I posted some videos, I think maybe around three years ago, that was on the Cummins B-18, and I did some on a, a Jeep that I had, and um, 
but I really didn't start posting until 2022. That's kind of when I really picked things up. Um, and so I went from, I think it was like 400 and something subscribers to uh, right now it's uh, April and I'm just shy of a thousand subscribers. So, hey, it's worked out pretty good. So apparently you guys are still watching. So you still must be liking something that I'm doing. <laughs> so I say thank you. I appreciate it. All right, we're getting really super close here. Thanks for hanging in there with me. And uh, now we're gonna try to see what happens. Hold tight. All right, so this is what I'm using. It's a Rust-Oleum Universal Hammered Black is what it is. Um, this can be sprayed on any surface, any angle. Fast drying and rust preventive wood, metal, plastic, masonry. So this is the same product that I put down on my galley table, except it was in a quart. This here's a spray. So we're going to try this out. It's basically got a built-in primer, so you don't have to primer anything. And let me tell you, it is extremely tough because I use this on my mailbox at home. I went from a, a black mailbox to a brown mailbox at home, and I used this product, but it was, it was a different color. And... Uh, I had a farmer come through with a, he was pulling the implement and totally trashed my mailbox. I mean, bent it plumb over the pole, broke the pole. And, and I was like, well, I'm going to check this out. That stuff that I put on and yet it scuffed it a little bit, but it did not peel off at all. It was extremely tough. So if you need something for any surface, any angle, try this product. It works for me. So we'll give it a whirl, see what happens. Shake it up good. So, there it is. Pretty cool. Let me turn the slide on, see if it helps. Gives it a little bit of a marble effect, which is really cool. I like that. Not too bad. Not too bad. Here's the first coat. Got it down. I'll let that tack up for maybe about 30 minutes or so. We'll put down another coat and then we'll be done with it. All right, so I've got uh, all the countertops painted and I just went through and did, I think it's 180 grit sanding on it. Just scuffed it up a little bit. And what I'm doing now is I'm putting on a Minwax Helmsman it's a spar urethane, and this is good for um, UV rays, rain and moisture, and temperature changes. And also, it is recommended for like bar tops and such to get a lot of wear and tear on the countertop. And what it's going to do is just put an extremely uh, good coating on there. That way, it won't get into the paint, and it'll protect the countertop. 
So that's what we're doing next. So we're going to be putting this down. What's good with this uh, spars? They do have, they got gloss, flat, satin, and this one here is a uh, clear semi-gloss. But what it is, I'm going to be actually putting it on the wood too. And because uh, I've got this all teak oiled up. And what I'm doing is going to be putting this on there as well. When I do this, and it's going to give it a nice clear gloss. That way you don't have to mess with the uh, teak oil anymore. So anyhow, I'll bring you back when it's all done. All right, everybody. So you all know I've been working on the countertops, right? And the galley and also in the head and right by the V-berth. So I'm finally done and let's check it out. There it is. All right, and so that one there is done. And you got the galley countertop all done and that makes a huge difference. It is nice and shiny. And uh, not only I did uh, put the hammered black on there, but also use the Minwex Min wax, I should say. A polyurethane coating to put a nice protective finish on it. That way you don't have to worry about uh, scratching it. And it should be extremely durable. While I was in here, I went ahead and put some new outlets in and outlet covers. And now let's check out the head. Did the head a little bit different. So. This is what I did for the head. Same thing, countertop's the same, but guess what? The old yellow sink that was in there <laughs> got a special treatment with the Rust-Oleum hammered silver. And uh, put that polyurethane coating on that as well. Just scuffed it just a tad bit and put it all in there. So that has made the head look so much more updated and looks really super nice. We really like it. I went ahead and put um, some of the polyurethane on everything in the head as well. Everything in the wood has been done and gives it a nice shine. So, um, and the floor pieces as well, got the trim down there, the door, everything here has been done because I don't want to teak oil anymore. <laughs> I just want to make it look good. All right, got this little section here done as well. That is all done and completed. And for a little work, man, it sure has made this super nice. And it's funny, sometimes you just make some slight little changes and it really does make a nice updated look. So anyhow, guys, just want to finish up the video with that. And uh, oh, I also took uh, these pieces down, as you guys will have. Um, it is like this right here. You've got a raised edge all the way around. I don't like that. Um, I know what it's for. <laughs> Keeps things from rolling off. But on the galley top, if you're making food, prepping or whatever, it's always getting caught behind that ledge. And it's hard to clean. So I just took this off, brought it home, put it on my table saw, and then cut off this little piece right here, sanded this down, make a nice little uh, smooth edge. And then that way, you can clean everything really good. Um, so anyhow, just a nice little touch for the galley. And also did the head the same way. Let's check it out. Did this exactly the same way. Made that nice and smooth. Let me focus. Made a nice and smooth transition coming off of here. So um, some people may like that. I get it. Uh, if you're in some rough waters all the time. But hey, if we are, we'll just secure it. The items on the shelves. And call it good. So everybody, thanks a lot for coming along today. Appreciate it. Another project completed. And uh, now we can move on to something else. So God bless you all. And we'll see you soon with more bold projects. And a little bit of everything else. See you later. Bye.